taking action for you. 7 Action News at 10 starts right now. I have to go beyond just introducing policy change, but actually be part of the movement in elevating the voices of workers like this. The wage war heating up, workers taking part in a national movement for higher pay leads to two hope high profile arrests. Former Democratic candidate for governor Abdul El Sayed and congressional candidate Rashida Tlaib both taken away in cuffs. I had no intention of, uh, of getting arrested. I was there with a group of people um, and I believe that if you start something, you finish it. We're hearing from both politicians tonight in a story you'll see only right here on 7 Action News. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Today, chaos erupted at the Detroit protest where fast food workers walked off the job and a demonstration aimed at raising the minimum wage. Tonight, 7 Action News spoke exclusively with former gubernatorial candidate Abdul Al Sayed and congressional candidate Rashida Tlaib. Ali, what are they saying about their arrests? Well, both are telling me this is not part of a publicity stunt. Instead, they were fighting for what they believe in, which is a $15 minimum wage. I've you know, never been uh, arrested like that before. Hours before speaking to students at Oakland University, Abdul Al Sayed was being placed in zip tie handcuffs. I have to ask you if this was a publicity stunt. <laughs> uh, I had no intention of, uh, of getting arrested. I was there with a group of people. Um, and I believe that if you start something, you finish it. I'm not running for office anymore. Um, I've got a lot of other things to be doing. Rashida Tlaib, who is currently running for the 13th Congressional District seat as a Democrat, echoed the same sentiment towards her arrest. I have to go beyond just introducing policy change, but actually be part of the movement in elevating the voices of workers like this. The two politicians were two of 18 arrested at the Fight for 15 protest outside a McDonald's in Midtown as part of a nationwide protest to raise the minimum wage. McDonald's sent us a statement stating they are allocating 150 million to help employees with costs like tuition, earning a high school diploma and other educational programs, stating in part, these enhancements underscore McDonald's and its independent franchisees commitment to providing jobs that fit around the lives of restaurant employees so they may pursue their education and career ambitions. Although many students at Oakland University support El Sayed's message for $15 an hour, not all were on board. I think it's unnecessary. I think it's uh, perfect where it is right now. You get paid for the, uh, paid for the job you do. Now, two other people were arrested at Wayne State University. That brings the total to 20 people arrested in all in Detroit for these Fight for 15 rallies. Reporting live from Oakland University, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. All right, Allie, thank you. And for a closer look at how the Fight for 15 is affecting Metro Detroit businesses and all of today's coverage of this story, head to our website, WXYZ.com.